Welcome back to the channel. My name is Tyler and this is Tech with Tyler. We're going to look at how to update your drivers on your NVIDIA graphics cards. So I'm going to open up the NVIDIA GeForce Experience web page here. I'll have a link down in the description, so don't worry about that. But I'm going to go here and click this download now button under the GeForce Experience. And that's going to go ahead and download the GeForce Experience for me. You're going to want to keep the file. It might ask you if you're using Chrome. Uh, if you want to download it, it could be harm your computer. It's not going to. It's going to actually benefit your computer. So keep that. Once it's download, down, downloaded, click it. It'll open up the software uh, installer. Once the software installer is open, go ahead and click agree and install. And it's going to go and install the software and then open it up for you. I have it installed already, so I'm not going to install it now. But I'm going to open it. Once it installs, you will probably be prompted to sign in. Go ahead and make an account, use your email address, create a password, uh, get logged in. And once you're logged in, you'll be able to install your drivers. If I go over here to drivers in the top bar menu, you'll notice that I have a, an update that's available. And this is what we're going to want to focus on is this top bar up here. Anyways, let's go ahead and download these drivers. So I'm going to click the download button on the right and it's going to start the download process and installation pro and then we'll be prompted for the installation process after it's downloaded. Once it's downloaded, we'll see these two options here, custom installation or express installation. I personally just click the express installation, but if you hit custom, it's going to allow you to um, make some adjustments with your previous drivers uh, and do clean install if you'd like to. Uh, I just go ahead and click the express installation and once you click that it'll pop up the driver installer and it'll go ahead and install those new drivers for you. 